TDP-43 is a protein that was discovered uh, in 2006 as the major protein that makes up the aggregate in the brain of the patients who are affected by amyotrophic lateral sclerosis and in a very high proportion of people who have a related disease that is called frontotemporal dementia. So uh, until uh, 2006, uh, it was known that these people, these uh, patients, had uh, um, aggregates in the neurons, and these aggregates were toxic, they were causing the neurons to die, but nobody knew what was the protein. In 2006, uh, once the protein uh, was identified, this opened up uh, quite a lot of new uh, possibilities for the treatment of the disease. As you probably know, one of the major problems with uh, many, most neurodegenerative diseases is that by the time you are diagnosed with the disease, a lot of the damage has already been done. So if you know the reason why the disease occurs and you can find alterations before the onset <laughs> the onset of the symptoms, then it is probable that a lot of therapeutic possibilities will work better the earlier you can see when people are starting to develop the disease. The other possibility that once you know what TDP43 is doing in the brain, of course, is that it gives you the opportunity to better understand also many other neurodegenerative diseases because one of the major breakthroughs that uh, we have been working on in the last few years is the fact that these aggregates uh, are not just specific of people with uh, ALS or FTD but they're also found in a variety of other neurodegenerative diseases like Parkinson, Alzheimer, um, there is we, um, Dewey body dementia and so what the uh, picture that is emerging from all these studies is that if you have neurodegeneration you can have many components of this neurodegeneration one of them certainly is uh, TDP43 and therefore what this means is that once we have a new therapeutic effective approach against TDP43, that approach is very likely also to work to some extent in other neurodegenerative diseases. There are a lot of treatments that uh, are currently uh, at the level of still basic research, but they are progressing well. So uh, a lot of these treatments uh, are to actually find small molecules that are capable of dissolving the aggregates. The aggregates have a physical, they make a physical disruption of the neurons and also they take away normal protein because they are acting like a sink where the normal protein disappears and so there is not enough to do the normal functions that this protein is uh, controlling uh, within the cell. So one of the major therapeutic uh, goals that we are also researching in ICGB is the one to find small molecules capable of disrupting these aggregates and releasing the protein that is trapped in there in order to uh, allow it to restore its uh, normal functions.